Welcome back. It is Wednesday, December 27th in the NBA. My three favorite picks are on the way. It's Austin from Calling Our Shot. Joined today by your guys' favorite special guest. Get it out. The broom is here. Now, I don't have a broom on the road, but we still brought it out last night. A wonderful day. Let's do a victory lap and then dive into today's picks. We had Cade Cunningham's over in points, a two-unit play. Yeah, it didn't look great at halftime. I had four points. And then if you just check the box score at the end of the game, you're like, what the heck, 41? Yeah, he went off. Then we had the same goon, same game parlay. Him to get 20 points, five rebounds, three assists. He had taken any overs for St. Goon yesterday. He crushed them all. Then the sweatiest bet of them all, Brandon Ingram, 20-plus points, and C.J. McCollum, 15-plus points. Yeah, we needed overtime, which was still a miracle to even get to overtime. Then Ingram barely comes through, and then McCollum gets to the free throw line with about 10 seconds left, clanks them both, and then hits a garbage-time, meaningless three-pointer at the buzzer to hit his 15-plus points. We'll take it. And then Anfrey Simons delivers. That's what he does. A 4-0 sweep of the day. Hopefully, we helped you guys make some money. And if you are new, hit that subscribe button down below. We do these videos every single day. This will be my last NBA video on the road. We'll have an NFL video for the Jets versus Browns game live later on this afternoon slash evening time. And there is a great offer before we dive into the, uh, the picks today on Bet365. We always talk about Bet365. We use them a ton because they're odds. Typically, you get a lot better odds on like those alternate lines. So when you see us taking your points, points lines or maybe receptions line in the NFL get a lot better odds on bet through six five and they have a great offer right now you can claim $150 of bonus bets or a first bet safety a safety net up to a thousand dollars in bonus bets a really good offer sign up top link in the description choose your offer collect your bonuses if bet 365 isn't available in a ton of u.s states but new jersey ohio virginia kentucky colorado iowa and louisiana take advantage of it but you guys came in for picks let's try to go for a back-to-back -back sweep and bring out the brooms tomorrow morning the first pick is going to be a cos hall of fame one of my favorite players well it's not my, maybe my favorite player to watch but at the end of the day he's made us some money his name is jalen Brunson just kidding it's his teammate Julius Randle over 24 and a half points minus 115 on um, bet 365 give you guys a pump fake on that one now I really do like uh Julius Randle's matchup against the OKC Thunder more than Jalen Brunson's tonight and I'll talk about why but I don't mind either of them as this game against the Thunder in OKC high over under about 239 and a half they're expecting some points now I would play Randle up to about 25 and a half I don't mind it there but now we backed Brunson the last few games because they've been facing the Milwaukee Bucks and you can say with me, they can't guard guards, but this is a better matchup, in my opinion, for Julius Randle. Now, you look at Randle's last eight games, he's been really good. I mean, obviously, he started off the season not great, but the last eight, really good. 26.8 points per game. He has scored 26 plus points in five of eight. Now, I put 26 plus in case the line does go up to 24 or 25 and a half because he's cleared that as well. You look at the three misses 22, 23, and 24 points. So, you know, it was pretty high floor here. I mean, getting 22 plus points in the last eight, we need 25. I think you can certainly get that. And we look at Randall in these games, 19.1 field goal attempts per game. And he's had some games where Brunson's attempted like 25, 30 shots a game. I think it's a better matchup for Julius Randall than it matches up for Jalen Brunson. Now, we talk about the OKC Thunder. What do they have a lot of? A lot of guards that are really good at defending. You think about guys like SGA. He's like leading the league in steals. You got Dor out there, probably his primary matchup. Jalen Williams as well. They got some guys off the bench too. I think they can have throw all these guys at Jalen Brunson and they won't necessarily you know lock him up but they'll make his life a little bit more difficult however I don't really think they have a great matchup for Julius Randle I would argue the best guy they have is Kenrich Williams and he doesn't play a ton he comes off the bench I just don't think they have the size to match up with a guy like Randle who sometimes when he puts his shoulder down he's gonna bulldoze you and he's probably gonna get to the free throw line in that case but we've seen Randle's last four games versus OKC 26 30 25 and 25 points going over in all four so over in four straight let's make that five straight did so on a 15 26 14 and 16 field goal attempts so going over but not a ton of field goal attempts in these games i mean obviously you know randall this is a different situation they're kind of relying on him a little bit more offensively right now given they have some injuries in there but they're going to need him out there to score some points especially against a very talented okc team so look he's only attempted 16 or less field goal attempts in three of those games still went over i think he attempts more than that tonight maybe we get 18 to 20 shots probably gets to the free throw line six to eight times too i really like this matchup i just don't think the thunder have the size to match up with him right now they obviously have some guys off the bench they can throw in there but I really like Randall tonight. He's a COS Hall of Famer. Hopefully, he continues to print some money for us. I don't hate Jalen Brunson's matchup, but he's like juiced at 26 and a half points. He could obviously go over that, but I like the matchup for Randall tonight. And normally with the Knicks, if they see a good matchup, they keep going to it over and over again. Now, my second pick is going to be a very popular one. 
this one's going to be a guy that a lot of people will be betting on in. I don't blame him because I think this is a great spot to back him. I think his line's still a little bit too soft. And his name is DeAnthony Melton of the Philadelphia 76ers. I'm taking his over 12 and a half points, minus 125 on BetMGM. I really wish this was not as juiced. I, I mean, you don't see me give out a ton of minus 125 picks. I get one or two yesterday, but that's really rare. And I would take this at 13 and a half, but I just don't love laying a ton of juice. I just don't think, you know, it's the best way to build your bankroll. But also, I don't mind what Melton, well, a lot of people be on his points plus assist i think points plus assist is fine i think if you can get a 12 and a half point sign i probably lean to that just because if you don't take if you take the points plus assist at like 16 and a half or 17 and a half you're needing at least five or six assists which you certainly can get i just think the points are going to be a little bit safer for melt and then we talk about joella bead he's already out for this game now he isn't officially out because no one is officially out in the nba until they the buzzer sounds and they have to check into the game or tip off but i don't expect him to play he has not traveled to the team he is projected out tonight he's announced out but you know, we all know it's the nba now in four games this season without joel Embiid, melton you look at his points 16 17 21 and 15 points going over in all four games he's done that on 11 14 19 and 17 field goal attempts ton of shots however he has yet to shoot above 37 percent with and beat out so you look at the field goal attempts you look at the points he's cleared it easily in all four games but he hasn't even shot the ball well imagine if he shot 50 percent in one game he'd probably score 20 plus points so if you wanted to land him up to 20 plus i wouldn't call you crazy but the usage has been really good that included last game against miami he scored 15 points despite shooting five of 17 and i just think the field goal attempts are going to continue to be there i mean you think about the magic what are they going to try to do defensively they're going to try their best to slow down maxi tobias harris maybe kelly Oubre jr i don't think melton is you know the number one on their radar and while i did look at maxi's over in points tonight he's not going to shoot four for 20 again i still think that line is a tad sharp i think maybe max he probably ends in the 27 to 33 ish range but i just think this is a good spot to back melton and i think he's got a good matchup because you think about jalen suggs the best perimeter defender for the magic likely to go on Tyrese Maxey. And I think we're going to see uh, uh, D'Anthony Melton be defended by Anthony Black, a rookie. Actually, shout out to him at his career high last night. But we see Melton this season has attempted 10 plus shots in 16 games, scored 13 plus in 13 of 16, scored 14 plus in case the line is 13 and a half for you in 12 of 16. So clearing both lines rather easily in the majority of games. And we've seen the Magic kind of struggle versus guards recently. Tyus Jones last night, 22, while his teammate Jordan Poole had 30 points. In the game before that, Andrew Nemhart 17 buddy healed 20 tyrus halliburton had like 29 as well but i just think they're sl sl struggling to slow down those alternate guards not necessarily the number one option on teams but maybe the number two or three and i think that's kind of where melton fits in i think the field goal attempts will see 10 to 15 maybe even more shots tonight Hopefully he knocks him down and get to the free throw line a couple times too. I really like him tonight. I think he's in a good for a great spot. I don't mind. I don't blame a lot of people for wanting to back him. Give me his over 12 and a half points. That's the line I prefer. I don't mind his points plus assists. If you have the difference between taking a, you know, 16 and a half points plus assists or 17 and a half or maybe the 13 and a half points, maybe you give or take there. The third, uh, 16 and a half points plus assists was a tad too juice for me. So I didn't take that. I just went to the points instead. Now, my third play is going to be a same game parlay. It's a very easy pivot, but like I said, I don't like giving out juiced picks, which this one, if you talk about just the individual leg, it was too juiced for me, like minus 140 or worse on a lot of books. Let's talk about this two leg same game parlay. Two guys that owe us money. Devin Booker over 26 and a half points and Kevin Durant 20 plus points. This is minus 105 on DraftKings. Now, like I said, the individual line here is obviously Devin Booker's points. The line normally is not, I mean, 26 and a half. That's a weird line. Normally we're taking like 25, 30 plus points. However, his line was 26 and a half slash 27 and a half, but books are all over the place. I mean, most books are at 26 and a half. Then you have some random books at 28 and a half. I mean, the line just doesn't make sense. Sharpest books in the world do have him listed at 26 and a half points at like minus 156. Obviously, you know, I'm not laying a minus 150 on a pick. I'm just not doing that. I think this is an easy way to do it. Take his over 26 and a half points. If you want to take 27 and a half as a one unit play instead of including Durant in there, sure. But I'm just about 99.99% confident Durant scores 20 points tonight as the Suns need a win. We talked about Devin Booker over this line in five of his last eight games to 26 and a half points he's under though in three straight with 26 24 and 20 points getting real close to it now he has attempted 20 plus shots in four of his last five games which isn't too bad but I mean he's attempted a ton of shots that's all we can ask for I mean at the end of the day He's going to attempt the shots, and I think coming off a game where, you know, he saw him yelling at teammates, which was warranted. The guy did not hustle back on defense, but last game you saw, you know, Grace Allen attempted a ton of shots. Chemezi Metu, the guy he yelled at, attempted a ton of shots. They did not play through Durant and Booker, led to a loss, and I just think today in Houston, they're going to, sh they're, those guys are shooting the ball. 
They're not giving it to the other guys. They're going to go out there and shoot the basketball. And I think Booker's in for a great bounce back spot. Dylan Brooks is a pest on defense, probably not playing tonight. I just think at the end of the day, we're getting 20 plus shots from Booker. I'll take my chances with him scoring 26 and a half points. And I think Durant will score 20 plus. He can do that in his sleep. Last game did not do anything, but I think that this is a game where he comes back and says, all right, fine. You think I'm, I'm a scrub. I'm partnered with DraftKings or whatever. It's like now he's going to come out here and play pretty aggressive. So those are my three favorite picks of the day. Let's make it a 7-0 and run. Let's bring out the brooms once again. And when that NFL video is live, check it out later this afternoon. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Let's have a great day. And I will see you guys back again and then different in my normal place. I'll see you guys then Thursday morning. You guys have a great day. Let's go 3-0 and bring out the brooms. Peace.